rock show that Andrew conceived as a rock show, but it just ended up being one of the longest running shows ever in theatre. He'd always envisioned it as an arena show. This had to be approached as a rock tour because that's essentially what it was. I mean, I've never worked in musical theatre, so if you start off with a conventional rock tour, you've got your band and that, you know, three, four singers, whatever, within that unit. Now, we have like a 10 piece band, but we've got 40 singers, all of whom at some point are featured. One of the things that makes this show different is there are so many changes, like scene changes, there are dynamic changes. Uh, it's, it, it's the complexity and the number of those changes that make, it, that make the big difference for me compared to a rock show. There isn't a moment when you're mixing where you can actually relax and sit back. The console for me was the main consideration because you know, I've got to figure out how am I going to manage this. On a conventional digital console, when you're picking from that many individuals, you have to be able to get to them quickly to access the channels you need when you need them. And so having population groups is the one thing on the Pro 6 which I really loved. So you can randomly select groups of channels, which is very much the way this show happens. There are unrelated groups of where they have a cast member we play in two or three different roles which change according to the song, and you need to be able to bring those up to the top at, at, at any point in any given song. So without population groups, there'd be no really convenient way of doing that. So as well as having VCAs, which you can select and bring to the top of the console, which is useful, you know, the population groups are the thing that make the difference. There are two particular songs where at one point we ended up with 16 snapshots, which is the most I've ever in one song, which is just, which was great. <laughs> From the house, we've ended up with myself and Robin Sellers between us mixing the shows because the, we just don't have enough hands to be able to you know, to deal with it. You can't, you can, you can do snapshots and ver you know, various other things, programming cues, but ultimately it's a live show. It's very much a hands-on show. One of the things that makes this unique and it's on the Pro 6 as well was that you can split the console. Well, essentially, console B is the principles, so the principles are always on top. Or, 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 very, or very close to on top, so I can scroll through those very quickly. So that's been good, the fact that you can have two operators, so I can be looking after changes on this, and Rob can be doing DCAs and, and other fine adjustments on the band mix, and then occasionally we kind of cross over and it looks like a game of Twister. <laughs> There's a lot of head scratching to start with, just to figure out, you know, what's going to work in an arena that may not be theatre practice, but you know, it's going to be necessary for us to pull this off. So the console was, for me, was the main consideration.